Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitnesses at Noon. I'm Kara Sundling. We want to begin with new information about a teen that police say drowned in a Waterbury Lake while trying to get away from officers. We do know now that this student attended Crosby High. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is live from where it all happened as the discussion surrounding juvenile crime has now been reignited. Audrey. Well, Kara, really a complicated situation out here. Let me tell you, when police got here, they saw one 17-year-old emerging from the lake behind me. This is on Lakewood Avenue, but they knew two 17-year-old males went into the water, so when only one came out, they called in the dive teams, and unfortunately, they recovered another 17-year-old male's body. He had drowned. Police have not released his name yet, but really, a lot of people are wondering, how did we get here? Waterbury police tell us that it all started around noon yesterday when an officer spotted a car that had been reported stolen. There were four teens in that car. When police officers approached the car, the teens tried to run. Now, a 14-year-old male who police say was the driver was taken into custody quickly along with a 16-year-old male. Now, the two 17-year-old males ran off. They entered Lakewood Lake. One of the teens came out of the water quickly. The other, of course, did not make it. Now, police say all the teens had been arrested before. The three who lived are all charged with theft of a motor vehicle and interfering with police. But obviously, the situation has a lot of people talking, a lot of people wondering how we can prevent these kinds of crimes while still encouraging teens to make safer choices. And you can see behind me there does appear to be a little makeshift memorial that just cropped up uh, recently. Everything there looks fairly fresh. We're going to continue to follow this today and we're going to talk to a lawmaker a little bit more about how juvenile crime can be addressed in situations like these. Live in Waterbury, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.